Hello, it's Olimik. In today's video, we're gonna replace brake hoses before something like this happens. And when it comes to when to replace brake hoses, whenever there is crack on the hose, it's time to replace them and never repair them. We're gonna be using common hand tools, new brake hoses, and a brake fluid. Every car's brake fluid is written on the cap, so check it before buying the brake fluid. Alright, after changing the brake hoses, we will need to bleed the system. So, we're gonna need a bottle like this and a 7.5mm transparent hose and I will show you how to use it after replacing the brake hoses. Okay, the bleeder is ready. Let's jack up the car and put it on a jack stand so we can work safely. Turning the wheel will make the job much easier and put the oil pan in case of spilling brake fluid. We're gonna start with removing this and it comes off just like that. Next this 14mm bolt. Once the brake hose been removed from the caliper, the brake fluid will constantly drip. That's why I have the oil pan there and we will fill it up with the new fluid after putting back the new hoses. And don't forget the crusher washer. Okay, this is the last spot. And doing the 10 millimeter and removing this. Now we can take the hose out. Brake fluid can remove paint, so wipe it off or use brake cleaner in case of dripping on any painted areas. Okay, let's put the new brake hose on. The job will be reverse of how we removed it. We're gonna start from the top and then the bottom. Put the retaining clip on and then tighten the 10 millimeter. Some brake hose brands comes with copper washer, otherwise you have to buy it separately or put a sandpaper on a flat surface and here we have a flat surface washer like new. One washer will be placed before brake hose and one after brake hose. And we're not gonna tighten it for now, till we put the middle retaining clip on. That way we will be sure that the hose relaxes it and there is no tension on it. Okay, after putting the retaining clip on, tighten the 40mm bolt and clean the brake fluid. Alright, brake hose installation is done. Now we need to bleed the brake system and fill the brake reservoir with new fluid. Every time filling up the brake reservoir, put the cap on after filling up. Because brake fluid hydroscopic, it means it like to absorb moisture. Okay, brake reservoir is filled up. Ask someone to hold the brake while you open 10mm bleeder valve. Hold the brake, open the valve, and then close it. Release the brake. Do that till you see no bubbles comes out. Remember, after bleeding each side, check the brake reservoir so it doesn't run out of fluid and suck air into the system. And that was how to replace brake hose and bleeding the system. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.